This is how the result will look like at the end. You open the nanominer.z to start mining, and you are good to go. Whenever you want to stop mining, you just close the miner. That is as hard as it gets. All sources used for this tutorial will be in the description as well. Before we even start with anything related to mining, we will need a wallet where we can store our funds. If you already have a wallet, you can skip to X. I prefer to use Exodus in this case, as it is a wide variety of different cryptocurrencies, and there are no fees for sending or receiving crypto. To download Exodus, go click on the link in the description, which will take you to here. Click on Get Exodus now and go through the installation process. Once installed, you will have to create an account. Make sure you also create a password and write down your secret recovery phrase. In case you lose your account, you will be able to recover your funds by entering your phrase. Now you have your wallet, we can begin with the actual mining process. In this video I will show how to mine Ethereum, but the steps you will need to take are the same for all the other coins on Nanopool. Download the Nanominer from the GitHub link below. If you are on Windows, click on the Windows build to start downloading the miner. If you are going to mine on Linux, click on the Linux release. Once it's downloaded, unzip the zip file. If you have an antivirus on your PC, it will probably detect the miner as a virus and either delete the file or lock it so it cannot be used. This is expected behavior from antiviruses. To prevent this from happening, add the folder in which you will store the miner as an exclusion in your antivirus. More information about this and why antiviruses block miners can be found in the description. Once unzip, you will see a couple of files, one of which is your config file, called config.ini. Double click this file to open it. We will have to change a couple of things in here. Delete everything that is already in the file. And replace it with the following, this can be found in the description as well. Ethash stands for the algorithm that we want to use. In this case we use Ethash for Ethereum. The wallet is the place where the crypto we mined will be sent to. And we already created a wallet, so you just need to replace this wallet address with your own. Open Exodus. At the top of your screen, click on Wallet. Search for Ethereum. Select it and click on Receive to get your wallet address. Make sure the address you enter in the config file is exactly the same as this one. Only one wrong misspelled character will result in you losing all your crypto. Once you double check that dot w e enter eth as the coin, the regnum can be anything you want. This is just the name that will show up as the name of your miner on the dashboard. Enter your email to get notified when you miner stopped mining. And it's also recommended to enable auto update. As this will make sure you are always on the most recent version. Once all this is done, you can close the config.ini file. Here are some other config files you can use to mine other coins. Now open the nanominer.z file. Your PC will start mining crypto when you want to stop mining. Just close the console window. To see your mining statistics, go to the Nanopool website. Select the coin you are mining, in this case Ethereum. In the red upper corner, enter your wallet address. The same one you used in the config file. You might have to mine for a while, until it shows up on the website. Once it shows up, you can click on the settings button to change your payout limit. The lower you put it, the sooner you will get paid. Keep in mind that you will only be able to change the payout limit if your rig has a rating of 10 or more. Once your rating is 10 or more, enter the email you entered in the config.ini file and the minimum payout you would like. That is it. If you have any question, or are still left wondering about something, do not hesitate to leave a comment.